welcome to you all for this press conference on the analysis of SSC April 2021 uh, result. Yeah, yeah. The result is prepared, which is based on the objective criterion. That's a policy document which we have uh, developed in view of cancellation of SSC written examination. Now, all of us, you must be aware that it was a very hard time for all of us and it was an unprecedented situation and safety of candidates and the exemption personnel was the paramount importance and so by way of circular 20, the board has cancelled the class 10 examination which was supposed to be held from 13 May 2021 to 4th June 2021. This result is based on objective criterion developed by the board, that's a policy. Opportunity to appear in the board examination will be given to the candidates who are not satisfied with, the, with this result. All repeat or, or failure, the unsuccessful candidates in this examination will be given facility of ATKT that is allowed to keep terms in class 11. There will be entrance examination for admission to science stream and all diploma courses under directorate of technical education which will be conducted by this board. As on today, 6,744 students have registered themselves for this entrance examination. For Goa board students, there is no fee and for the CBSC or other state boards, we have charged the fee and we have received about 174 applications from the other state boards. So totally 6,744, they have registered for examination, entrance examination. These are the aspirants for 11 science and some polytechnic or diploma courses. Now, through this scheme, how we have distributed the marks, you can see this table that is formative one and formative, these are the internal test carries 50 marks, term examination, unit test or it is a periodical test or preliminary or year and assessment. Any one best performance will be awarded 20 marks and class 9, 9th, it is 10 marks out of 80. So also for practical, 40 marks for the internal test. 15 for the term or it is year end, one of the best and 10 marks were taken from class 9. And if it is a pre-vocational courses, for internal test there are 25 marks, 10 marks for the preliminary or the terminal examination or it is a year end and 5 marks proportionately were taken from class 9. And this is how the marks were to be awarded to the candidate. These are all external component. Otherwise, board would have given them a written examination. And uh, the entire team of the schools, headed by the principal or headed by the headmaster and the subject teacher, they have worked on this entire uh, exercise and they have submitted these marks and accordingly we have prepared the uh, result. You go to the next slide. This is the trend of the last five years result where there was a written examination. You can see 2016 it is 90, 17 it is 91.57, 18 it is 91.27, 19 it is 92.47 and 2020 it is 92.69. You can see the graph also. And for this year, 2021, 23,967 students from the regular category appeared. This is the maximum enrollment of candidate in the history of the board. Of that, 23,900 passed in this examination from the regular category, giving us 99.72, which is the highest ever pass percentage in the history of the board. You can see the third highlight. That is also, we are declaring the SSC results prior to the HSSC, almost after two decades. This was somewhere in 2001, we had declared uh, the SSC result first. 
Now it is the SSC results that is being declared first. You can see the another feature that is the number of the boys appeared for this examination is again on the higher side. This is 13,011 and girls are 10,956. Only two girls failed, giving you percentage of 99.98. Whereas out of the 67, so 65 boys, they are placed under needs improvement category. So passing percentage is 99.5. So 12,946 students, they passed. Now all repeater candidates, they are placed under ATKT. There were about 517 such students who had applied to under exemption category. So all of them are placed under allowed to keep them so they can take the admission in 11 stream. Supplementary examinations will have to be answered by all these unsuccessful candidates and this supplementary examination will be within their school itself and the school will give them intimation of at least 10 days. So today we are declaring a result. So after three weeks, schools can plan the uh, timetable for the supplementary examination and inform them that they will have the examination. This examination will be based on the sample papers. We, we will be issuing them the sample paper of those subjects. And based on that, the examination will be conducted at the school level. They will uh, give them the marks. They will make a correction and they will submit the marks to the board. Now the pattern of the question paper is, is uh, in such a way that it can be in online mode or it can be in the offline mode. So that is uh, very much possible. Coming to this percentage, we have uh, done one slide, uh, one small, uh, it's a so small investigation how the students are getting uh, into that percentage. You can see less than 33 means the students who have failed. So 32 and then below that. So 67 students they have failed or it is needs improvement. Now 33 to 45, 2,231 students they have secured, 46 to 59, it is 7,001, 60 to 80, this is a little large number, it is 10,276 and 81 to 100, almost 18% or so, that is 4,392, this is at the state level. So thereby maintaining that normal curve. Now all these 67 students who have failed, they are either they have not done their assignment or it is they were not attending the classes or they have, they have not withdrawn their form. That is how they have, uh, they could not succeed in the exemption. But the good point is that all these 67 students, they are eligible for the supplementary examination and they can answer the examination in their own schools. Coming to taluka wise number of the candidates in this range, you can see uh, Kepe. 11 students are placed under needs improvement category and it is out of 1,404. Sangem, none of the students failed, so it is 100% at Sangem out of 510. Salset, it is a maximum number of enrollment, you can see 5,085, 13 have, are placed under needs improvement category. Kankona, it is only one student under needs improvement category out of 736. Marmagova out of 2,234, four are placed under uh, needs improvement category. Pedne it is 1,137, one is placed under needs improvement category. Bicholi it is 1, 000, out of 1,671, three are placed under needs improvement category. Bardes out of 4,041, 12 are placed under needs improvement category. Sattari, out of 1,123, only two are placed under needs improvement category. Tiswadi, out of 2,871, 16 are placed under needs improvement category. Fonda, out of 2,740, uh, it is four are placed under needs improvement category. And Dharbanada, small uh, taluka, out of 415, uh, no one has failed, so that is 100% uh, result in that case. You can see those 518, so 43 are distinction, you can say, in Dharbanada, or 583 are distinction in Funda taluka, and so on. Next slide. 
this is the taluka wise enrollment of candidates at the results uh, you can see the second column there are 323 aided schools funded by the government government there are 71 77 schools you can see taluka wise so sange dharbanoda 100% result dharbanoda is a lowest enrollment taluka then kankona it is 736 99.9% pedne it is 99.9% .9 fonda it is 99.9 bicholi .9. it is 99.8 Sattari it is again 99.8, Marmagawa it is 99.8 and 99.7 two talukas, one is a Salset, biggest taluka with maximum enrollment 5085, Bardes it is 4041, so 99.7 and Tiswadi it is 99.4, enrollment is 2871 and KP it is 1404, the result is 99.8. Two. You can see uh, in Sattari there are 14 government schools, result is 99.8 and below that it is Bicholi which is 11 government schools, 99.8. Next slide. Skill qualification framework. This subject is the seventh subject. So the passing criteria is you can pass in any six subjects out of seven. So, 3,197 they appeared as the seven subject NSQF. Number of the student passed is 3,189 and the result is 99.74. The salient feature of this NSQF is you can see down 47 students they passed because of this seven subject. Maybe they might have failed in English or maybe maths or maybe science, but they. F so, the subject they failed is discounted and this subject is. Yes, yes, absolutely. And uh, the beneficiaries of the schools are 90, 90. So, 90 secondary schools they offered an SQF. 77, all 77 uh, government schools were included in this. Beside this, 13 more secondary schools from ADA, they were given this NSQF facility. Next slide. You can see these are the subjects, very interesting subjects automobile, IT, IT, retails, then retails. Beauty and Wellness, all practical oriented courses these are, Apparel, Construction, Agriculture, Paddy Farmer, that is in bracket it is, then Telecommunication, Logistic, Tourism and Hospitality, Electronic and Hardware, this is second Agriculture, this is Solanaceous Crop, then Plumbing and Healthcare and this all this are uh, managed by Rashtriya Madhyamik Shiksha Abhiyan. They are funded by Rashtriya Madhyamik Shiksha Abhiyan. The teachers are being granted by RMSA. Next slide. And uh, this is subject wise passing percentage and the highest mark score. And we have also given you additional feature that is a subject average. Coming to English, the first language, you can see 21 and compare it with 2020. 96.76, this was a written examination where the passing percentage was 96.76. Seven six, uh, whereas in this year it is 99.77. The highest score in 2020, last year it was 94. This year it is 99. And this is subject average means the all the marks, the average marks scored by all the candidates. This is all 23,967. So almost 57 or 58 percent they are they have scored. Otherwise, and it may be compensated with some highest marks or maybe lower marks. So, that's the average. Second language is a Hindi, which is again a compulsory. You can see the past percentage. Last year, it is 98.64. This year, it is 99.86. The highest score last year, it was 97. This year, it is 100. And they have scored quite a good uh, average. That is 64.9. Third language, it is Marathi. 98.49 passed last year. This time it is slightly increased 99.84 then the highest score it was 97 and this year it is 100% uh, average score is also quite better that is 62.4. Konkani which is a third language the passing percentage last year it was 99.04 this year it is 99.9 uh, highest last year it was 98 this time it is again 100. 
this is pass percentage the average percentage is also quite good this is 63.4 urdu third language last year 97.56 was the pass percentage this time everybody passes highest score last year it was 96 this year also it is 96 and average score is also quite good that is 66.7 then sanskrit third language last year it was 100 percent result this year also it is 100 percent result Additional feature is 98 was the last uh, last time's highest score and uh, this time it is 100% and see the average here it is 83.8 that is the best average among all these subjects that is a, that means they have scored quite a good in uh, Sanskrit third language. Kannad third language the passing percentage last year it was 98.78 this year it is 100% highest score it was 81 this time it is 88 the average is uh, 48.8 compared to the others it is low arabic third language 100 percent last year this time also 100 percent uh, pass 99 was the highest score this time also it is 99 average is also quite good that is 68.8 french third language this is 99.61 was the passing percentage last year this time it is 10 percent last year the highest score was 97 this time it is 98 and average quite good this is 71.3 portuguese third language this is 99.65 this was last year's passing percentage this time it is 10 percent highest scores last year it was 99 this time it is 100 and again average quite good that is 70.9 now this time first time we have introduced this mathematics level 2 where uh, it's not only because that subject is difficult and therefore the people were or the students were opting for that that is only those who do not want to pursue mathematics at their higher level maybe 11th standard they want to continue in languages or some other without maths then this was uh, offered to them as level two if you look at it uh, the pass percentage it is 99.5 and 10 percent they have passed but see the uh, average average is 45. 5. Whereas math level 1 that is a regular mathematics 95.18 percent passed last year this time it is 99.93 last year it was 10 percent was the top score this time also it is uh, 10 percent is the top score here the students they have the subject average is quite good that is 63.5. Coming to the science last year the pass percentage was 94.11 this time it is 99.74 highest score was 100 last year and so also this year also it is 100 but the average is 40.4 social science history and geography it is 96.38 passed last year 99.81 this year and 100 is a score last year so also this year but average is also good that is 61.4 next slide and uh, this private candidate those are the candidates who directly appear for the 10th standard iti candidates are those uh, candidates who did not complete their 10th certificate they go three years diploma course and they take two subjects and if they clear those two languages then they are given the equivalency certificate so this private candidate and iti candidate will have to answer board examination as and when the condition is uh, normalized to conduct the examination we will give them 10 days uh, intimation time before the commencement of examination there is an entrance examination for 11th science stream and diploma courses under director of technical education again we will intimate them 10 days prior to the uh, commencement of examination now there are application that there are requests which are coming from the candidates of last year's 2020 or maybe prior to that some they are interested in uh, taking up the diploma courses so in that cases they will have to answer the board examination this has been also announced by the director of technical education so they will have to answer this entrance examination 